Let's take a look at the chart action for Solana. Okay, so here's what I'm looking at. We have resistance, resistance, support, support, support. Pretty much a falling wedge pattern. Boom, 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 boom. We broke it going to the upside. We don't have a ton of volume, but it is a little bit of green volume. In general, the spots that I was looking at to break or the, the targets that I'm looking at, first one was this spot right here. We broke that resistance right here going to the upside. Now we broke the trend line. The next spots are the targets or the previous resistances, something like that. Let's go ahead and copy and paste this red horizontal line, one right here, and then the next one is sitting up here. These next levels are sitting at 101 and 117. The other thing that I'm looking at is we have support, support, giving me this uptrend going up like this. As long as we're on this uptrend, going to the upside, these are the next targets. The other thing I'm looking at is if we zoom out a little bit, let's go ahead and zoom out. We have resistance and resistance, giving me this downtrend going down like this. So we haven't necessarily broke this bigger downtrend, but hopefully we can come up and test it at least. Let's see what happens when we get up here if we can continue this momentum going to the upside. I think if we break this bigger downtrend going to the upside, then we can start looking at the next resistances, which could possibly be something like this. Right here, we have this resistance. We have this resistance, this one, this one, and this one. So basically, it's just like steps. We, this is this would be the next step then the next step would be right here next step right here and the next step right here once we break the f next step then we can go to the next one obviously but these are the spots that I'm looking at to break the first one sitting at 101 second one 117 if we could break this big downtrend then I'll be looking at 148 if we could break 148 then I'll be looking at 198 the only thing is, check out this 180 moving average right here. This might give us some trouble. This kind of lining it up with that 148 level. But if we could break 198, then 234, 257. This is just my opinion. This isn't a promise. This is just what I'm looking at. And this is just what I'm thinking. First things we have to break are this one is 101 and then 117. Then we have to break this trend line going to the upside. And let's see if we could do all that stuff. Then maybe we could come back to the all time highs. Not sure what's going to happen. These are just the things that I'm looking at. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys like the video, hit that thumbs up. If you want to support the channel, check out my Patreon.